Welcome to another adventure in book shopping in Edinburgh. This is the second video in a series I'm currently doing where I take you around my favourite bookshops in my hometown of Edinburgh, Scotland. So today we're in the new town and the first stop is Rare Birds. Rare Birds is actually, at this point in time, Edinburgh's newest independent bookshop. It specialises in selling books by women and celebrating women writers and female voices. It has a really wonderful curated selection, not just of books but also a few gifts which is a nice added touch and it covers many different genres in, in there. You've got romance, you've got crime, you've got literary fiction, you've got fantasy, you've got YA. A little bit for everybody, but with that one theme of women's voices. And it's just stunning. So glad to have it here in Edinburgh and can't wait to spend more time in it. I've already been there a few times and it's not even been open for very long. Then we have an old favourite of mine situated in a similar vicinity to Rare Birds which is the Stockbridge area of Edinburgh and that's Golden Hair. So Golden Hair has to be one of the most beautiful independent bookshops I've ever been in. This bookshop has been in Edinburgh for years now, it used to be located in the grass market before it moved to Stockbridge and I've always been a massive fan. It has again its very own specific curated selection of books from across the genres including a beautiful children's section full of children's non-fiction and fiction for all different ages and again just somewhere I always find something really interesting really new and really different it's also great for bigger coffee table books and art books if that's something you're interested in as well as independent magazines We then move to the very outskirts of Newtown where Leith Walk meets London Road and visit Tightronger or Tightronger? I'm never quite sure how you're meant to pronounce this but not only is this Edinburgh's smallest independent bookshop it is also Edinburgh's only typewriter repair shop so it's a little bit of everything it is full of fun antique typewriters as well as an amazing selection of books so it's always fun to visit it has lots of little nooks and crannies full of different things including independently published zines they host a zine fair and they're really really a part of the community in which they reside which is just wonderful to see with any bookshop plus whenever i've been there the uh, bookseller has made us a little origami animal to go along with our purchase which i just think is the most lovely touch And last but not least, for my favourite bookshops in Edinburgh's new town and just around the corner from Tightronger is Toppings Edinburgh. So there are a few different Toppings branches across the UK, although I've only ever visited the Edinburgh one, I'm sure they're all as stunning because Toppings really gives you that nostalgic feeling of an old-fashioned library when you're browsing. It has ladders which line in the bookcases as they are quite tall and as a customer you are welcome to use them or you can ask staff members to um, go and you know retrieve books from higher up if needs be. They also have tables and seats scattered throughout the store and offer tea, coffee, water, drinks for anybody browsing. And I mean free tea and coffee, which is so incredibly kind of them. This one is a little bit of a rabbit warren. There are so many different rooms and so many different bookcases. Honestly, from floor to ceiling, there is everything you could possibly be looking for in this bookshop. It is massive and I don't think the outside necessarily gives away how big it is inside. The children's department is one of my favourite places and if you do visit there you may actually find some of the only signed copies of my children's book available in a bookshop because Toppings invited me which was lovely.